Welcome to Home Farm. We recently posted an in-depth technical review of the Natatmo home weather station. To see a shorter, punchier video, keep watching to see us unbox, install and give you our verdict on the Natatmo home weather station. We would like to thank Natatmo for gifting this kit to us. And as always, our opinions are honest and based on our personal experience. So let's get into the actual boxes themselves. I'll walk you through what's in each of them uh, so that you can get an idea of what comprises this Natatmo weather station. We're going to start by opening the core box of the weather station. When we open the box, we've got two modules. We've got the tall one, which is the module that stays inside the house. And we've got the shorter module, which is the one that we'll position outside. From a design perspective, as with all the things that Natatmo make, they're very, very slick. Uh, they come in a nice uh, silver finish. Uh, the tall module is the one that's supposed to stay inside the house. So from, and it has to be plugged in, which is quite an important point. So as we can see, when I put it down there, it blends in quite nicely. It's not a hugely uh, invasive piece. It's, it's quite slick, it's quite small. Uh, so you're not going to have too many issues with regards to trying to blend it in with uh, the other items inside your house. As mentioned, the, the taller module has to be plugged in at all times. This basically functions as the nerve center for your whole weather system. So this is the one that's going to be probably positioned inside our kitchen. Uh, it's got the plug little bit at the back. And the shorter module is the one that will be positioned outside. This gets fitted with a couple of AAA batteries uh, that we will be fitting shortly. In addition to the modules, we have another box. This box contains the power adapter for the indoor module. This is the one that we're going to connect shortly. It basically just connects through the back. Also provided in the box are two Gerasel LR03 batteries. I said they were double or triple A's, they're not, they're far smaller. These are the ones that we will fit inside the actual module itself. So to do that, we just unscrew it. There are two more screws located at the top. This has obviously been done uh, from a waterproofing perspective because this is the module that goes outside. So we'll open that and we shall put the batteries the right way around inside, so I think it's going to be like that and like that. Now that I've got the batteries in, we're just going to seal it. Also provided in the box is the adapter plug, which goes onto this item here. See which way it goes. There we go. It just clips on. You also get a USB cable, so if you don't want to have uh, this big power adapter, you probably could use one of your Apple chargers by simply connecting that to the actual charger and running that. It's a little bit neater and a little bit tidier uh, as an option. And also provided is the little welcome pack for the actual station, as well as a little brochure of all of the other items that Natatmo makes. Now we're going to turn our attention to the other two boxes. These are add-on modules for the actual weather station. Um, what's important to note is that you can buy the weather station by itself, you can buy all of these modules separately, or you can buy them as a bundle, which Natatmo do on their website. We're going to start by looking at the rain gauge. This is what the box looks like. So that's what we have inside the box. When you take it out, it's acrylic. It looks like glass, but it's not glass. Uh, this is the rain gauge. Like I said, this is going to be positioned outside because obviously it's going to be capturing water and taking measurements of that. Um, it feels quite sturdy. It's quite a, a thick plastic. So from that perspective, I think it's good. We'll just have to figure out how we're going to mount this uh, as we continue going through the contents of the box. Lastly, we're going to open the wind gauge. Again, 
continuation of the same branding, everything looks the same, very professional. So as with the rain gauge, we've got the wind gauge that's inside here. If you do want the mount to be able to screw into the bottom of this unit so that you can either mount it top up or uh, in a different way, it is sold separately. So it's definitely worth remembering. And as a closing point with regards to this wind gauge, it does have this protective film. Obviously this does get removed. It's just basically got instructions for you not to put your finger inside there, which we're not going to do. And once you've removed it, that's basically what it looks like. As part of the setup, you can use your iPhone or your iPad. We're going to use the iPad because it's just a bigger screen so you'll be able to see a little bit more. But the actual device itself is also compatible with Android and Windows Phone. The weather has gone really, really crazy. Uh, and we've had to abort our setup of the uh, Natatma weather station midway because we had a lightning strike somewhere quite close by and it's knocked out the internet, it's knocked out our network, but the, the rain is absolutely driving the poor sheep have all huddled underneath the tree. It is absolutely pelting it down. So if this video is a little bit disjointed now, I do apologize because we're going to have to pick this up probably tomorrow when hopefully the network and the internet's back up. I've started the Natakmo app. I'm on the rain gauge install screen. And what you need to do as part of the process is hit the install button. Uh, now you need to press and hold the main station. It will go from flashing green to flashing blue. We will then click next. What this does is it powers up the, the main module and allows you to start adding items to it. Once the app is connected to the main module, you now select the rain gauge. Located inside is this little lever. Basically what happens is that fills with water as the rain falls. Um, as that fills, it basically tips over and it fills up the other side. And that's what basically counts the amount of rainfall that you get. We're now going to turn our attention to setting up the wind gauge, the anemometer. So what we're going to do now is align everything back together. Now what's important to note is that because this is measuring wind direction, you obviously have to align it north. So it's also got a little north uh, gauge at the bottom. So we're just going to make sure that we align it in that direction, which we've done so. And we're now just going to put the screws back in. I've temporarily taken down our rain gauge while we're trying to configure it. Now we're getting quite a lot of rainfall and it's really interesting to see what actually happens when the rain falls. It's really coming down at quite a decent rate at the moment. It's uh, quite a strong drizzle is the way I'd describe it. And when you actually look inside, there's hardly any water in there. So these little drops basically just accumulate over time. And then they basically just run down the funnel and into the little lever that I showed you earlier at the outset of this video and then basically that uh, gives you your reading so it's just interesting to to see it in action. We've had two days of solid rain but thankfully we've got a fabulous day today so I'm going to get back to trying to configure the anemometer and the rain gauge. Uh, temporarily I just set them up on this pallet here uh, just so that they could continue to uh, gather data. We've placed our indoor module inside the garage so that we can extend the range by not having any clear-cut obstacles. So we've mounted the rain gauge. It's in a really good situation. It's very firm. It's looking quite good. I've just checked the signal. It's strong. So that's heartening. That's what it looks like. It's uh, well positioned, like I said. ultimately did is we've moved the smart anemometer 
to our log store, much closer to where we position the rain gauge. Our Natatma home weather station has now been successfully installed. Uh, it's been operating for five days and I think that it's fitting that on the hottest day of the year we're going to be giving you our honest verdict. Natatma sell the weather station and the smart wind gauge and rain gauge separately. Uh, we would definitely recommend that you buy the whole pack. I think the true value really does lie in the whole bundle. I think that just having the module that works indoor and outdoor which basically gives you pressure readings and temperature readings um, is useful but I do think that getting rain and wind entering the equation is far more interesting. As I said it's absolutely roasting today so I've just had to put the hat on. Uh, there's a lot to like about the Natatma home weather station. I think that the initial setup using the app is really really straightforward and really simple to do. Uh, we really didn't struggle with that at all. That was quite simple. The issues were with the connectivity. But apart from that, setting it up was actually really, really straightforward. The data itself has been really great. Uh, the system's been up and running for five days. We've been able to compare a lot of the metrics against uh, TV forecasts and stuff on the internet. And generally speaking, it's matched up quite well. To analyze the data, we use our iPhone and iPad. To be honest, the graphs are not that easy to follow where the apps come into their own is definitely just to get an idea of what the temperature is right now or what the humidity is like or what the pressure is like uh, so that the apps are, are really good for that if you want to access your data in greater detail uh, i definitely recommend using the browser portal uh, it's a lot easier to use the data is presented a lot better and uh, there's just a lot more information that you can actually derive from that the other thing that we also really like is that the Natatma home weather station is one of the most popular pieces of kit uh, on the market. So there's a lot of third party plugins and applications that you can utilize with that. For example, my go to weather app on the iPhone and Apple Watch is a product called Carrot. Uh, when you go into the settings of the Carrot app, it allows you to add a Natatma home weather station. And what that does is it gives you the best of both worlds where you are able to use a third-party weather aggregator like AccuWeather, for example, along with your own personal weather station, which is basically providing you with a far clearer picture of what your weather and weather forecast might look like. So on that note, we're going to conclude our review. I think that if you're in the market for a home weather station, this is definitely a very strong contender for you. We think it's actually very, very well priced for what it has to offer. It's got a great feature set. Uh, it's easy to use, the app is very, very intuitive and provides you with a lot of clear-cut data. I hope this video has given you some insights with regards to first impressions of the Natatma home weather station, what it's capable of, what are the good points, what are the bad points. We're definitely going to be doing more updates with regards to the performance of this weather station. So if you're interested in getting those, please hit the subscribe button below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on our next video.